Hi everyone, this is Natraj. I am back with another video. Today I am going to talk about that DynamoDB encryption with the AWS KMS using Terraform. So this is the agenda of the video. The first I am going to talk about that introductions, types of keys, architecture diagram, demo and the frequent ask questions. In generally, storing the any sensitive data while adhere to strict security regulation component will put the additional burden to the DevOps team. For example, in unauthorized entry would not have the ability to read the or understanding the data being saved within the table even if they have the access to the table. DynamoDB encryption features are available so that we will be encrypted the signing before sending to the AWS DynamoDB. In this case we can avoid the man in middle attack or un unauthorized changes to the data. Amazon DynamoDB is a fully managed service, so we can call as the serverless. The data will be storing as the key value pair, the NoSQL database. The mainly designed to run as the highly performance applications at that scale. So DynamoDB is offered that the inbuilt features such that fully managed service, key value store, highly performance, scalability and the securities. How does the DynamoDB encryption is work? The encryption is the additional layer of the security so that the data will be transmitted will not be able to visible to at anyone. There are two types of the encryption. It be support that client side encryption also that encryption at rest. Data at rest. So which means that the server side encryption is referred to encrypt the data storing within the DynamoDB tables. So the dynamic tables using the industrial standard algorithm called AES-256 they ensure that only that authorized person or service can be accessible assess that sensitive data. The important note that AWS managed KMS service will be encrypted that data at the rest. The next one is the data in the transit. So means that encrypted or sensitive data while being transferred to that DynamoDB. So we are moving to the next slide. Types of KMS keys. The first one is the customer management keys. So customer management keys mainly responds for managing the keys. So for example, responsible for creating, rotating and deleting them. The customer keys are suitable for scenario where using the specific key policies or rotation schedule. Next one is that AWS managed keys are generated by the AWS. The AWS managed key cannot be able to associate the one of the custom resource. That is the one of the different between the customer management key and the AWS managed key. Also, the AWS managed key rotating once every three years automatically, whereas that the customer management keys are rotating once the year automatically or manually. The next one is the AWS owned keys. The main important that you cannot be able to use the AWS owned key to encrypt the DynamoDB at the rest. So in this exercise, we are using the customer managed keys only. We will be see on further. Moving to that next slide, architecture diagram. The step one, I'm going to create the customer management key in that AWS KMS portal. The step two, I'm going to create the DynamoDB. Also, I am associated with my KMS key, which I created the earlier. So in this case, our data at the rest is encrypted. So we'll be moving to that, our Visual Studio. We are at that Visual Studio code. The entire code is available on my repository. If you want, you can check it out my repo. First, you will be see on that main.tf file. The main.tf file, the first resource block is defining as that Terraform underscore provider because of interacting with that many AWS resources. Next one is that AWS caller identity. So particular resource, it mainly used to do that, get the data about that account ID, user ID and the ARN value. The next resource is that AWS underscore KMS key. The particular particular resource will mainly used to create the KMS resource. So we will be seeing on by one by one that parameter value. So there is descriptions. The description is mainly used to the task definitions for identification purpose. Next one is the customer underscore master key and specs equal to where dot key underscore specs. I am this value I am calling from the variable for simplification purpose I am I am commanded that original value here so the symmetric underscore default value is representing for AES-256 algorithm so next one is that is underscore enable here I make it the enable this particular parameter used for to enabling for the key next one is that enable underscore key underscore rotations this particular parameter mainly used for it is depends upon your requirement if you want to make it true then it automatically rotate the once per year from the key 
next one is the deletion underscore windows underscore in underscore day equal to 7 it is mainly used for waiting period it is specifying number of the days in my case I am defining as that 7 days next one is the tag the tag is used for to categorization purpose next parameter is the policy in generally each key must having the policy for allowing or denying the key to be used by the users or the services. We will be see on the first policy for enabling the IMA users permissions. In this policy statement we are providing the complete permission to that root user. For example you can see a thing the variable I am providing the root. You can see the things the asterisks I provided. So I am providing the full permission. Suppose if you are making it the empty means what will happen we can't able to encrypt or decrypt with any more until with the get of AWS support. Next one is that allowing the access for the key administrator. So in this case we are creating some unique user called the Terraform. The particular users we provided the full permission for creating description. So this particular user is again able to create the entire operations. So we will be move on the next policy statement. Allow use of the key. The particular statement we are providing that specifications of usage of the keys for example in the action under encryption and the decryptions everything is will be there so next policy statement is allowing the attachment of persistence resource this particular policy statement allowing the listing or creating reworking granting for the key by the principal identifications so next resource is aws kms alias the particular resource will be used to identify the kms keys so we'll be moving to that DynamoDB TF file. So we are at the DynamoDB TF file. The first resource will be going to create the DynamoDB table. So we'll be see on that then one by one the parameter. The first one is a name. We are using the join function. Basically what will happen the we are combining that variable value with along with that object metadata. Next one is that building underscore mode. Here we are using the pay underscore pair underscore request it basically for usage but by default it be the provisional will be there next parameter is the ash underscore key we are using that id so that this particular parameter mainly used for partitions of the key of the item next one is that streaming underscore enable equal to true the particular parameter used for to capture the time order the sequence of that data next one is the steaming underscore view underscore type equal to new underscore and old underscore image value the basically this parameter will for each recording that unique sequence number of which will be ordering next one is that attributes so attributes for assigning that value next one is the server underscore side underscore encryption this particular stage will be using for calling the customer master key which i we created that earlier so we will be moving to the terminal will be executing the entire Terraform code. We are at the terminal already I cloned the source code so I am directly going to execute the Terraform apply command. Yeah it is asking the three resource so I am providing the yes. First we'll be going to create the KMS key, then we'll going to create the DynamoDB table. Yeah, we have successfully completed the Terraform operations. So I will be moving to that AWS console. Here I am going to click that DynamoDB icon. yeah i'm going to click the tables yeah you can see so that our successfully we created the dynamic table here also we can confirm it whether that kms is associated or not so just you can click this object metadata non prod here just to scroll down below yeah click the additional info yeah you can see the things the kms will be there so we'll be moved to the kms console also just i'm searching with that kms so I am right click open with a new tab. So I am going to click that customer manager key here. 
yes the key is created here i will going to confirm with that key id just and copy that one then i going back to that dynamodb table just i'm stretch it here yes yeah the key is properly associated so i hopefully this video will be helpful to everyone if you have any doubt reach out to me thanks for watching bye